Hello everyone, welcome to Learning Apache Storm for Big Data Processing course. I'm Prashant Nair and I'll be your instructor throughout this entire course. So I'm a Big Data Solution Architect and a Data Scientist. I have worked on more than 40 plus projects and I'm into this Big Data domain more than 7 years. And I have also worked on uh, processing tools like Hadoop, Spark, Storm, Flink most of the open source technologies that is available in market. So let's check the course. So in this course, we'll be starting up with understanding what exactly is real-time processing. So basically, we'll be talking about what exactly is the batch processing, what is real-time processing, what are the difference between the both, and where exactly Apache Storm fit in. Then we'll be talking about Apache Storm concepts, in which we will be discussing about the core concepts of Apache Storm where we'll be discussing about spouts, we'll be discussing about bowls, topologies, streams and stream groupings. In the third module, we'll be talking about how to set up our Apache Storm development environment. So basically in this video, I will show you how you can set up your Eclipse and how you can uh, create your Apache Storm project using Maven as well as using manual jar files. In the fourth module that is creating our first Storm topology, we will be creating our first Apache Storm program through Java, where actually we'll be creating a simple program where we will be getting the data from the spouts and storing the same via Bolt. We'll be displaying our outputs in the Bolt. And then in the fifth module, we'll be setting up the Apache Storm in a single node cluster where exactly we will be setting up the zookeeper in single node and then we will set up the storm and then finally we check the web UI. Post that we will also see how you can upgrade your cluster from single node to multiple nodes where we will set up multiple uh, node zookeeper followed up by setting up multiple nodes Apache storm followed up by setting up the services and starting the services. In the next chapter, we'll be talking about how to implement stream groupings in Apache Storm. So basically in this section, we'll be focusing on how you can achieve parallelism through Apache Storm. And uh, we'll be talking about lots and lots of type of stream groupings available in Apache Storm. Then we'll be discussing about how to integrate Apache Hadoop with Apache Storm. So basically in this section, we'll be talking about how you can store your outputs in HDFS and how you can integrate your Storm programs along with the Hadoop libraries. In the last part, we'll be talking about how to uh, implement Trident's, what exactly is Trident's. We'll also implement some of the transformation techniques like map, filter, and many more. So the major goal of this course is to give you a clear understanding on the core components of Apache Storm. We'll also develop Apache Storm applications completely from the scratch. And I'll also show you how you can set up Storm in single node as well as multi-node clusters. I'll also show you how you can perform data transformation using Trident's. And finally, one of the most important part, how you can achieve parallelism using stream groupings. So the basic requirement that I expect from you all is you all must have the core Java programming knowledge and basic Linux commands knowledge. So see you inside the course. And once again, thank you very much for choosing this course. Bye-bye.